It's hard as hell for a young Florida boy where we play football and sell dope, man. Gold rims and sticks, seven trays, no tops, you dead candy paints, yo. Gold rim. So I'm, 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 I'm seeing a lot of stuff and I'm hearing a lot of stuff and I just went on Twitter and Sue Surf is definitely going in. He just, he just doing, he just did an interview with uh, PSA Podcast, my man Three Letter Man. Um, and yeah, man, he, he just calling out Lux. I mean, he just calling him out. He's saying that he want Lux. He felt like they jumped his brother. He wants Lux. And not only Lux, he wants the gray hoodie Lux. If he don't battle Lux, just he just said, just give me your gray, hood, gray hoodie. I, I just want it. So my question is, do you guys want to see Surf against Lux? Also, my question is, do you guys feel like Surf deserve, deserves Lux? at this point. Also, you see, it's a lot of questions because I've, I've been seeing some recaps. Like I seen Angry Fan where he said he don't really, he, he don't even know why, in, in his opinion, I'm kind of paraphrasing, does Surf even deserve Lux at this point? That Surf has more losses than wins on his resume. Like Surf lost to Clips, he lost to Verb, he lost to Rex in that wrong, wrong rounder, he lost to DNA. Um, some people arguably have him losing his shotgun shook. So uh, a lot of people just have a whole lot of questions about it. Now, this is my thought process of how I think URL sees it. And, and just a business person overall, Surf is going to produce numbers. And from a business perspective, you want an ROI. You want a return on your investment. And I definitely think URL... And I know they've been talking about JC and things like that. Or why didn't JC get Lux yet? Y'all going to put Surf in? From a business perspective, they know Surf is going to get the views that they want versus a JC. And I hate to say it, no offense to JC because he's definitely dope. But he definitely, in my opinion, deserves Lux for the for the work he put in. But from a just a business perspective, and I'm not talking about personal feelings and just uh battle rap bars and i'm just talking about from a business perspective when you're talking about numbers getting a return on your investment putting money out knowing what the views are going to be smacking them no oh man surf surf is going to definitely produce he's going to produce we're going to we're going to see the return we're going to get the views and really, honestly, man, Surf, he's going to average over a million views easily, easily. Um, JC may, may not, you know what I'm saying? He may not. So um, from that, I get it. Now, from a fan perspective and bars and you just want to, yeah, JC definitely deserves Lux. But right now, I would not, to answer even Angry Fans question, I would not be surprised if they book this. And I definitely think they're going to book Surf versus Lux. And I think if they do book a Surf versus Lux, that's going to be one of the biggest battles on the URL platform, I think, in my opinion. Um, so let's call it what it is. Surf has a big fan base. Outside of Battle Rap, Surf produces. Man, he was number two on iTunes, 725, that mixtape. So, I mean, he has a strong following so i definitely think if you book something like that the same thing with lux we know what lux is he's a he's a goat of battle rap so uh one of the ghosts of battle rap so that that that's just a match kind of made in heaven um and i definitely understand some people gonna feel a certain way which is true you know like man how does this happen how does url allow this to happen and stuff like that and you know, it's just a business like i always stated it is it's a business so you know, one thing I would definitely suggest, especially for guys who want to see like a Lux and these top guys, really, man, just continue to market yourself accordingly. Because one thing you got to do is you got to pay homage and dip, and, and I and I respect the way Surf. Because when you think about when Surf first came out till now, you could tell his marketing, the way he brand himself, the way he separate himself from his peers, is upper echelon compared. To be honest, man, so. He just made right business deals, right business moves. You know, when Surf, think about it, man. We talk about a Surf who battled a young ill. Think about that Surf. A Surf who had battled like K-Shine, DNA, his early on when, when, when Lux was bringing him, you know, over to do the ciphers. I mean, it's up, up to now. Yeah, it's a bit, it's like night and day. So, um, 
are you guys excited? I would definitely be see excited to definitely see this matchup, man. You know, um, and I definitely think we're gonna see one of the best surfs, man. I really feel like he's gonna come with three rounds. Um, but surf can't play with Lux, man. You cannot play with Lux. You already know. Like, I don't even have to explain it. When you when Lux stands in front of you, th th that's like the sensei. You you don't you don't play with that. You don't you don't play with that. And you talk about a gray hoodie Lux? <laughs> Lux alone, Lux alone in that third round against Tay Rock and Chess. Oh my God, man. It was like, it was like he was just sucking the energy at the room and you could just see people's souls flying slowly. The way, the way Lux was talking. Oh my God. So yeah, sir, if you want that smoke, man, just know it's going to be there. And I definitely think you're going to come prepared, you know? Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to touch base on that because I just heard, a, 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 I'm just, seeing a whole different, uh, a lot of blogs and what people are saying and how people feel a certain way. They're saying Cortez been called a surf out. How to surf duck Cortez, Iron Solomon, JC. He wants one with a battle mook and he gets Lux. That's what happens, man, in, in, in battle rap nowadays. As of 2019, it's just not about like, it was like that before. And, um, you know, like when you call somebody up, you keep calling them out. Eventually y'all y'all will battle. But nowadays, to be, you know, now that URL has an app and, you know, they have over a million subscribers on, on on YouTube, it's to the point where now they're just not booking just like any kind of battle. Now for the big, for the big platform, they're booking things that's going to generate views and money. On Probably on like a, I know, I'm not trying to be funny, but like on a smaller stage, a band, a born legacy, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see those smaller, you know, those smaller matches. But now they just thinking about, hey man, what's going to be a room shaker? And think about it, man. They also still competing with RBE. RBE still got, you know, they got a nice car coming up with Sirius Jones and Matt Hoffa. So yeah, they're gonna continue to try to book these big matches, you know, and, and get that competition. So yeah, and set themselves as a standard. So um, I hope that I broke that down. I just want to touch base on that. What do you guys think? Sue Surf, Lotto Lux, would you guys want to see that? If so, who you got winning? Um, and how do you guys feel about uh, just the moves just really being made overall? Let me know. Salute. It's hard as hell for a young Florida boy where we play football and sell dope, man. Gold rims and sticks, seven trays, no tops, dead candy paints. Yo, gold rims.